Hey there, this is the Market Doll Queen, and today I wanted to talk to you about setting and customizing your studies and your setup here on Thinkorswim. A lot of you has asked me how we get to where I show you my charts, and I'm going to try and help you set that stuff up. Usually this here is the home screen, and I don't use anything on this home screen. So let's go ahead and go to charts. And right now it's set on the actual Thinkorswim default setup. And this is the daily chart. And I don't much care for the daily. I really prefer the five day, five minute chart. And right now, this is the default setting in Thinkorswim. They got a basic volume profile right down here. And your basic candlesticks, blah, 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 blah. There they go. Over here on the right-hand side are all the places that you can add to your actual chart setup. Like this here is time and sales. And it brings up the time and sales when the market is open. Down here, L2 is level two, and it opens up a menu down here for bid and ask. Uh, you could also add the news and find out what's going there. You can set up this pretty much any old way you want to. But for the sake of keeping this video um, short, let's go ahead and just concentrate right here on the chart. So right here, it's a naked chart. I don't much care for it. And so we're going to change things. So we're going to go here to studies. And I'm going to go here because I want you to see this open up. And we're going to add a study. Now, as you can see all over the place in both of those columns, we've got all kinds of choices. we got the John Carter studies. That's the TTM squeeze that I love so much. And all these other, you got the David Elliott's, you got lower studies, you got bullish, bearish, all that kind of stuff. You get drop down menus going every which way. You can you can customize your chart until it's just overwhelmed with many, many indicators. Uh, but I want to go for simplicity. So I want to go here and we're going to add a study. And we can go ahead and do it by the alphabet. Like I said, you can go ahead and do it like this. You could do it here for the lower studies, also the upper studies. And let's go ahead and start on the upper studies. That's the main chart area. And right off the bat, let's go ahead and add VWAP. And I want to show you how I customize my VWAP. So like I said, we're on a five day, five minute chart. And as you can see, this is VWAP, and this is the default setting. And I hate every bit of it. So right-click on it, and then we're going to edit study for VWAP. We're going to click on that. So right now, um, I don't like the upper and the lower Bollinger Bands. So we're going to click upper band, and we're going to click out uh, show pilot, show bubble, and show title. Apply. The same thing with the lower bland, band. Show plot, show bubble, and show title. Uncheck all of those, hit apply. And that will leave us the center line for V1, which is right there. And I like it as a dotted line. I like it to be a little bit wider. And I like it to be white. I like it to stand out. So I picked the whitest corner on the big menu, and I'm going to hit OK. I'm going to hit Apply, and then OK, and there it is. There is the only VWAP line that I use. It's right there. You can see it's dotted. I like that to stand out. So let's go back to Studies. Um, let's go ahead and add another study. Um, we'll go for the upper studies and we'll add, how about Bollinger Bands? And there you can see the Bollinger Bands in the default setting for Thinkorswim. And again, I don't like them to be all these different colors. I like it to be a set 
that goes together. So I'm going to right click anywhere on the Bollinger Band and I'm going to click Edit Bollinger Bands. And so I want all the colors to match. So I'm going to go to Lower Bands and I'm going to click on Color and I'm going to hit that one. And I'm going to hit Apply. And I'm going to hit Upper Band, click on that, do the same thing, hit Apply, hit OK. And there you can see they all three are now the same color. All right to define the middle Bollinger Band, I'm going to go ahead and make it dotted just so I can tell the difference between the center Bollinger Band and the upper and lower. So I hit OK, apply OK, and there you go. If we drag our mouse across, you can see it open up. So right now we're in the basic volume bars that are the default setting. I have my Bollinger Band set and I have my VWAP set. And as you can see, this is a very clean chart. You can go ahead and leave it just like that. If you like this just like that, then click on Studies and then you're going to want to save this study set. Go down here to Save Study Set, click on it, and let's give it a name. How about Simple? simple study and then we save and there you go so now when we click on studies you can go to load study set and you can see right in your your own column is simple study and you could click on that and it'll load this chart as it is so I'm not happy with the setup so I'm going to go over here to the hourglass and the reason I'm doing this is because this hourglass also works like this hourglass. This drop down menu is you can do anything, it's a quick drop down menu, okay? And then over here, this hourglass opens up everything, the big one. So now we've got our upper studies and our lower studies. Right now, we have the VWAP added, we have the Bollinger Bands added. I would like to add some more. So first off, I would like to add, how about the MACD? And I type that in here right on the search bar and it drops, it gives it to me. I do that. And down here it says add selected. So you click on that and it added it right there. I also would like, I very much like the TTM squeeze and pretty much just got to type in TTM and it'll drop down all the TTMs. There are many to try. I find the TTM squeeze the most basic and the simplest to understand. So I hit TTM squeeze and I add selected. Now if I want the TTM squeeze above the MACD, I can click over here and hit this arrow and it'll put it up. If I want the MACD up in my upper studies, then I also do the same thing. You could see each of these has their tabs that you could take them up and down. You can also delete them right here and you can also edit them right here with the tools gear. So right now I kind of like the way that is set up. So I'm going to hit apply and I'm going to hit OK and I'm going to come and look at it. All right, that's fine and dandy. I want a volume on there. I don't like the basic uh, default volume for Thinkorswim. So I go back up here to, I called it an hourglass. It's not, it's a, it's a chemistry beaker, but you know, there it is. So you click on that and right here, I want to add volume. So I type in volume and it gives me all of these volume, uh, different studies you can experiment, but for the sake of sim simplifying this, we're just going to go for volume average, add selected, and it's right here on the bottom underneath the MACD, the TTM squeeze, and then it'll be set right there. Hit apply, hit OK, and there you go. There are the three setups, so I don't like that. I'd rather this volume be up here. Back to the beaker. 
and let's hit volume and let's drag and drop it all the way up to here hit apply hit OK and there it is it's replaced and sitting right on top of the default volume and I like this one much better there of course is the MACD and the TTM squeeze and I like this I like this very much so I click on that I want to save this whole set so when I come back to this I can swap out my set of studies and alter things that I want to look at like maybe different time frames and stuff like that so I'm going to save it as a set and I'm going to put it right here and I'm going to call it the Queen's Fave Eh, why not and then I'm going to save it and then I'm going to hit OK and then it should be here under studies load study set Oop, and there's the Queen's Fave right there and there you go just so you know you can alter any of your studies from over here and this drop down menu you could do the quick studies which give you all the drop down menus in every direction of whatever you could think of it's a big program and you can spend hours on it this is add a study also you can edit your studies you can remove them all and that's your quick drop down menu over here is your beaker which opens it up so you can set up how you like the chart set up to lay okay and there we go right now I'm looking at the chart for KCAC it was a SPAC that was day trade alert equity alert this week 1349 was the entry it hit 25.75 KCAC if we were to look at just the studies just the basic studies this here was when it was alerted for a day trade right up in here somewhere I waited until I got confirmation on this gap up it was beautiful as you could see it hasn't been trading very long this is a SPAC and there's our VWAP the Bollinger Bands expand and contract and it coincides with MACD and the TTM squeeze the TTM squeeze is a favorite you will hear me talk about time and again I like this setup this is easy to read easy to understand and easy to see how a ticker is behaving you can see where it contracts and when it goes into the lower red bars and yellows this is the below the center of the TTM squeeze right here when there are no bars below or below or above it is totally squeezing and you could see the Bollinger Band squeeze at the same time too I use all these indicators to help me stay in the trade longer it also traded again the following day when it was going kaboom it's doing crazy things and it went all the way to the fourth where it hit its all-time high of 2575 this is quite a popular ticker in our room this past week and you can see here if we're looking let me just blow this up just a little bit here on the fourth okay you could see where it sold off right after it hit its all-time high up here in the 25s and you could see the TTM squeeze went boom the MACD boom look at the volume sell-off bars right here that sell-off and then it started to sideways chop again I hope this helped you understand how to get your home screen to the set of charts remember when it comes time for the market to be open always open up your time and sales so you can see what's going on always open up your level two always make sure you know what the bid and ask is and follow along and you could stay in the trades longer in order to lock in 
bigger games. I'll talk with you guys next time.